Hello everybody, today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make this very cute peekaboo hammock or hidey hole hammock, however you want to say it. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing that you're going to need is four pieces of fabric um, and the measurements for these are in the description below. So I have two pieces of fleece that are the same size as well as two pieces of different fabric. This one's white and that one's polka dot. You could use both of the same outside fabric if you want. I'm just doing uh, two different outside fabrics because uh, that's just how I like it. <laughs> um, but the inside fabric is going to be this pink fleece because it's really nice and soft and it'll be super warm in winter. The other thing that you're going to need is something to make a circle with. This is for when the rats go inside. And I'm using this uh, just candle lid <laughs> so I could trace around it and then sew it, which I will show you soon. You're also obviously going to need a sewing machine. I have the Brother JX1710 and matching, um, matching thread. I'm just using white just because that's what I have. And also fabric scissors. You're also going to want um, either grommets or pieces of fabric or um, anything you want to use to hang up your hammocks. I'm just using uh, little pieces of fleece. Um, this is non pill fleece so it doesn't fray. Uh, but I will be using a zigzag stitch so that the fabric doesn't fray. Even though it's not going to, I'm still going to use it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin. What you're going to want to do now is get two pieces of your fabric, this is going to be the top, um, and make sure that your fabric is facing each other, the good sides are facing each other, so that when we sew the hole, and we'll turn it inside out, and then we will, um, and then there will be a perfect little hole, which I will show you right now. I'm just using a blue Sharpie pen, this will wash off in the washing machine. I'm just going to find a perfect spot to make my hole. And then I'm just going to trace around that. So you can see. And now what I'm going to do is sew around that blue circle. So I have it on number six stitch, which is just a straight, straight line stitch. And um, I'm going to sew my hole. I'm going to sew all around this blue circle right here. And I'd like to apologize for the bad lighting. It's because my sewing machine light is on, so it makes all the other lighting uh, a little funky. So I'm going to do a few stitches, and then I'm going to back stitch so it doesn't fall apart. And now I did a full circle circle around. I'm going to back stitch again. And there you go. Now you're going to get your scissors and cut that. And now that I have that stitched out, I'm going to cut out this circle with my fabric scissors. There, now that I have my hole cut out, I'm going to turn it inside out. And there you go. And now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get your two outside fabrics. So uh, the bottom outside fabric is white on this one. And then make it face. So make the good side and the good side facing each other with the fleece on the outside. And then what you're going to want to do is sew all the way around that. And now I have my sewing machine set to a number four zigzag. So this is when the fabric won't fray. So you're going to want to do like what you did with the hole. And you're going to stitch a few. And then you're going to back stitch. Once you get to the corners, you're going to want to sneak in your little 
um, thing to hold up your hammock. So I'm just going to sneak that in, in between the two good fabrics. Right there. Sandwich that in. And then you've got to make sure that you cut all your threads off your fabric so that the animal that's using this hammock doesn't choke. And now I'm just cutting off extra fabric that didn't line up just to make it look a little bit more nicer. Your fabric inside out so that the good sides are on the outside and the fleece is in the inside. This is this has to be my favorite part just because it's so um, it's just so much fun <laughs> just to see your finished product all done and nice looking. And there you go. Now you should have a perfectly good hammock. And that concludes this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. And all these hammocks that you see at the end are available on my online shop as well as my Etsy store, which again I will leave down below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!